Hey, Roshi and Kira here, and today I'm going to show you my latest sketchbook. So, this is from December 2023 to February 2024. So, come along with me and let's see what we have inside. So, let's jump into this December 23 to February 24 sketchbook. It's one of those little A6 ones that I love. They're very chunky, very chunky. And the paper is by Hanamula. This is a Hanamula 250 gram sketchbook and it's the one I use these days I don't know I love the quality of the paper it's a hundred percent cotton and I really like it a little bit pricey a little bit in the pricey side but well you know what I like indulging myself in what I like so this is a couple of little swatches of intense magenta these are from the new set of colors that Roman Schmal uh, watercolour manufacturer extraordinaire is producing in Poland and he sent me a big batch of them to try out and you'll see more of that as we go through. So here's a little picture left over from Christmas, kind of a Christmas tree one and a, and a close up of the Christmas tree. I don't know why or how, but anyway, here is my, here are my three kids playing poker and boyfriend of Livy. Um, and this was a very serene kind of a drawing and then everything went to pot because there was a disagreement over cheating and everybody flounced off. So that was the end of that. But I got them just before they flounced. What do we have next? OK, so this is the yellows from the Roman Schmal set. And I think this was all reviewed quite thoroughly in a, in a YouTube I did previously so you can check that out if you want it's it, and, and, and you can see a little bit more detail about what's going on the reds that's not much of a description but there you go the reds and some of the other colors likewise I will say that I love velvet black and this one is my mom not the most flattering drawing I've ever done of my mama she's a beautiful lady but anyway, I like painting and sometimes I decide to forgive myself if it's not the best drawing I've ever done in my life. And we all have to do that because otherwise we'd never sketch anything. This is a little sketch of my husband, also the subject of a previous YouTube. And he doesn't like this at all. And who could blame him? But I do because I'm looking at it from another point of view, which is using a very limited palette to get kind of a I'm not going to say full range of colours but a decent enough range of colours there's only five colours in this and as I said this is one of my other YouTubes as well this is a drawing I did in McCambridge's coffee shop in Galway City um, they don't have a counter service anymore upstairs I used to love that place when it was full of bustle but now it's kind of got lots of customers in it but they all bring their sandwiches wrapped up in paper and their paper cups so McCambridge's if you happen to be looking at this get that counter service upstairs reinstated and we'll all be the better for it I really like this little drawing um, mind you I took a little bit of flack for it from some people who object to the building in question but as far as I was concerned it was a miserable January afternoon but I was happy because I had my lovely son Paddy beside me and we were enjoying a uh, I think it was the limited edition uh, smokestack something like that steak stack smoke steak stack I don't know but it was delicious whatever it was um, we had such fun and then I painted and the light faded and the reflection started coming out and it was great fun and I did this as a class and I recommend it to my wonderful students that they find their own fast food places to draw and I hope they did because it's a lot of fun and you can pull up in your car no matter what the weather and draw away to your heart's content and no one's going to move you and even if you get hungry well it's not a problem or thirsty no it's not a problem <laughs> I don't know why I did another Christmas tree but I did so I guess was, this was the 7th of January just before the tree came down or maybe it was the day that it came down and that's why I drew it no doubt because you're supposed to take them down on the I don't know, the 7th, I think. Maybe it's the 6th. Now, you're going to see a good load of um, drawings of animals cooking in this little sketchbook because 
I, I was going through a phase of doing that and I have to say the phase isn't over and I'm doing more of it and I have more lined up. So this is a fox making buttermilk pancakes. Oh, this is a nice one. This is my little Livy, my youngest, and her boyfriend, the ones who are playing poker. And they're on the train and we went to tra we went to Dublin together, the three of us, and um we had a great time and we loved the train journey and it went by in a flash because we get on very well. Here's another little recipe and this is my sweet little terrier Reuben. And who knew he was so gifted in the kitchen? Well, I sure as heck didn't. Um, this is a recipe that I have been making recently and it's so delicious. And it's really quick and easy as well. This is drawn from a, from a drawing I did from life of Reuben having a little snooze. What's going on here? Oh yeah, this is... Um, this is just I was making some um, some little legends to go with the paints that I sell. I did I did something a bit better in the end. But anyway, it was just so that the people who bought paints from me, whether it was in the slightly larger size, still small, but slightly larger or the very small size, these ones, um, so that they would know what colors they were getting. Um, oh, yeah, this one. I like this one. This is some um, espresso cups that I have at home, um, a gift from my youngest boyfriend to my son on his birthday. And we were in Crete at the time. And this is bought with my mom when we went to visit um, Sorrento together. And this one is also a gift from my mom um, at some earlier, earlier stage. And the whole thought process behind this was to show how just one shade of gray can be used with a little bit of patience and a little bit of careful observation to produce a uh, quite a realistic looking i suppose black and white drawing so it's a class about values this is a little sketch from my very favorite coffee shop stroke patisserie um in galway city and uh, it's run by a wonderful french lady called fabienne and it's called c'est la vie and i really enjoyed drinking coffee and having cakes or pastries or whatever it was here we have an owl making bread. Yeah, I know it's overkill, but I was trying out new ideas. I wanted to see if I could incorporate the, um, I suppose, the, the features of the landscape near me into the little recipes because the owls live in this place, like in real life. I can saunter up the road a few minutes and I can explore this ruin and I can see the telltale signs of, um, of owls living there, barn owls. So... Yeah, that's what I was doing there. Needs a bit of a refining, but that's what a sketchbook is for. Then I got carried away when I saw a YouTube video of two owls who fell in love. This is them courting. And uh, this is them courting as well. This is them when they're so all loved up and happy. And then, I don't know, these were ones where, I don't know, maybe they're bringing rats to their children. But there is a video with these guys in it on YouTube. All I did was give them a little, um, a get, well, you can see it yourself. All you have to do is look up barn owls, couple or something like that and you'll, you'll find it. These were using, I don't know what I was doing here. Oh yeah, I know what I was doing. I was just demonstrating um, different colour mixes again for a different YouTube video. How could I forget so quickly? And this is one of my recent YouTubes. And I painted something because I was inspired by this colour mix made by quinacridone, uh, cherry quinacridone red and ultramarine intense because I didn't know what I would do with that colour. And I thought, well, I would paint something kawaii. So that's what I did. It was very fun. Uh, hang on. Have I got, no, I haven't skipped a page. And then I had messed up with the starting of a drawing. You'll see it on the next page. It's not very good. But I had to do something on top of that, you know, full start. So... I used some browns and some soft yellows and some cherry quinacridone red to um, make these little drawings. This was a day that I just, nothing worked. I went into a coffee shop in town. Actually, it was the downstairs of the McCambridge's that you saw at the front of the book. And the coffee, the cup of coffee came out really nicely, but it was really raining, had to be indoors. And, you know, sometimes the rain isn't as romantic as I like to think it is. It was just miserable. And I was using just the one colour grey to get all the shades. And I just don't like it. I don't think it worked. 
don't think it worked but there you go oh dear dear pheasants cooking this time it's they're making um a, mar- a marmalade pudding and um i made this and i made it and i made it until eventually i my system um being a lady of um well not exactly advanced years but certainly advancing years thanks be to god but i'm no longer able to tolerate marmalade pudding <laughs> in all its delicious richness anymore so that's a bit sad then I did it again because I, hang on, is that the same one? Yes, it is. This is a continuation of that other page. And this is the pudding with the sauce dri- dri- drizzle on top. And if you make the sauce with a little bit of butter, some marmalade and some treacle rather than golden syrup, it is divine. Maybe Ruben will stop barking. This is done with Urban Sketchers Galway in the King's Head pub in Galway City. And that was a... One of the ni- one of the first nice afternoons that we had after the depths of winter. And coming to the end of this little book now, sitting in another coffee shop, looking out the window. This is Cafe Nero and looking out the window and drawing this gorgeous girl with her beautiful blonde hair hanging in great tresses over her shoulders. And this is her friend. No, it's not her friend. She didn't know her. This is another girl with sort of hennaed hair. And... Uh, now, this are, these are a series of speech bubbles that I could hear behind me. There was a lady who brought her small child in for hot cocoa. And the child was about five and he seemed to be quite precocious. And the mum says, you have it all over yourself. And the little boy says, can I have another hot chocolate? And she says, have you seen your face? And the little boy says, how can I see my face? And she says, it's on your nose and everything. And the little boy says, I don't have a mirror. And he made a fair point. Now this one, I'm going to have to do something here because it's too empty otherwise. This was a girl who joined the queue and I thought her colour choices were so amazing. She was dressed from head to toe in blue and a very warm yellow, virgin on mustard, which I don't know what colour that is. It's not quite mustard and it's not quite yellow. This was her, her scarf, her bag and her docks. This was her hair and this was her cardigan and her trousers. And then she had a nice white blouse with a print of blue roses on the front. And I I might draw that there, actually, because my husband has exactly such a shirt. And then she sat down with her friend and her friend said, I like your blue outfit. And she said, thank you, very Ikea. And he said, did you like France? And she said, yes, I loved skiing. I was better than Emmanuel. So fair play to you, girl in the blue and yellow. Now, this one is a particular favourite of mine, and I'll tell you why. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I painted the whole page in pink, just pink. Now, I did put a layer of pink acrylic on the background, this one, and I recommend you don't do that because I couldn't get the watercolour to go on it. Look, golden fluorescent pink. I couldn't get the watercolour to stay on it, so um, it got too slippy. So I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, I drew this and then I drew kind of like a line drawing. I'll definitely do that on a YouTube because it's really worth doing um, to show you how it works. It's fab. But my my students were all asked to paint a preliminary pink page and they could do whatever they wanted with the pink. They could use whatever shade they wanted. And it was absolutely fab. So um, you should see their work. I, I, I might put it in a YouTube and share it with you because it was just so, so good. And they loved it. And that led me down um, a path, which you'll see in my next little sketchbook. But it's a great technique where you paint the background first and then draw on top with a black pen or a dark colour ink pen and then just use white to catch your, your highlights. So last page, again, the subject of a recent YouTube video on brushes and threatening to use my dog as a brush, my dog's fur um, as a brush. Um, because I don't know if I've mentioned before in YouTube's, but my dog has a habit of cocking his leg indoors to mark his territory. It's not because he needs to go to the bathroom and it's not because he's got kidney problems. Neither of those apply. OK, he's perfectly fine and he sleeps in a crate all night and he never has an accident. And before you say, oh, that's cruel, he loves his crate. He goes in and <laughs> asks for us to shut the gate <laughs> when he's tired and wants to go to bed. So there you go. That's the last one. That's the last picture. And I hope that you've enjoyed this little book and... I wish you, as always, as I say, happy sketching.
Okay folks, I'm sure you will want to know what materials I've used. So I'm going to remind you that this is a Hannah Moolah 250 gram, 100% cotton sketchbook. And uh, do I have an affiliation? Well, yes, I kind of do because I sell them in my sketch pockets. So I suppose I do sell them. Um, this is Roman Schmal watercolor. And I certainly do have a connection with these because I sell these just like this. This is your free one you get when you buy a set from me. My pens are Sailor Food Ape. Looks a bit scrappy at the end. Uh, Sailor 55 degree Food Ape pens. So can you see the nib there? No, you can't really. Anyway, they've got a bent nib angled at 55 degrees and they're great pens, um, absolutely brilliant pens. And my ink is Diatramentis Document Brown, usually, but other colors as well. And I also use Roarand Klingner. And then my brushes are Rosemary & Co, um, Kalinsky Sable. And then I love these little Sakura brushes, Sakura water brushes, little stubby little fat ones. And I usually have about three of those for different colors. Finally, I have these little guys, the white jelly roll pens by Sakura, and they are brilliant for when you make a mistake. And I think that's the lot. Oh, and don't forget, and finally, finally, I wouldn't be without my little, sorry, my magnetic clips to hold my pages down and also to grip my metal paint boxes on. So that is the lot, guys. And um, those are my special tricks that I wouldn't be without. And um, whatever you use, I hope you have a fabulous time filling your own sketchbooks. And I will talk to you next time.